Hello guys, it's Avcore. It's a uh, update time. I have to update. I wanted to update Monday, but I got busy. I worked overtime at work, so that's why that is. But let's get to it. My level is decent. I do spend money because I'm at uh, level eight in privileges, so I have spent some money, and it shows. Um, when you look at my current power, it's not as high as I would like it to be. I'm ranked number 20, but when you go to cross server, I'm actually 28, so I have moved up in the ranks, but uh, guys outspend me really hard. There's just some really strong people. Some of the people have quit, like Kami has quit. He's no longer like playing, which is kind of sad because his account is beastly. Like Snow Flora. It's good. I think I think he's still playing. Um, I haven't seen Nick Chu, so I don't know what's going on with him. But yeah, these guys are really strong, and some people just don't care. Uh, some people just like don't care. Let me see what what's uh what's a guy that some of these guys are like no nah, not Kilroy. Kilroy's good. Let me see. That's a decent team, too. Uh, this actually interests me, the fact that he uh, uh, uses her. That interests me. All right, Evil Lord's good. I guess on my on my server, people just don't give a crap. They just uh, do whatever. These guys are pretty uh, solid. This is not good, um, but the rest of the team is so solid, it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, let's go to my server because uh, they just don't give a crap. Like when you see some of the guys on my server, like uh, nah, this this guy's got decent team. Uh, like see, like these two shouldn't have been starred up. Uh, yeah, they start people are some people are starring up characters they shouldn't like this character shouldn't be starred up. To, uh, this one shouldn't be starred up either. They kinda like Yeah, these two characters shouldn't be starred up. So like on my server they don't care. They just want power. They don't really care about like team efficiency. Overall my team is efficient. But I have to get rid of her, and I plan on get, getting rid of her. I have someone to replace her. It's just I just need the um, pieces in order to finish her off. So I'm okay as far as that goes. My, my power is uh, solid. Like I said, I do spend money. Mm. Where, where should we start at? Uh, let's go to Weirdness. Uh, Dragon Spire Tower, I'm okay. Like... I'm 30 in uh on my tower on the main tower. Uh here I'm number five in fire. Darkness, I'm 48. I have to work on darkness, but oh I cleared so much darkness that I can't show my team. My darkness team is kind of weak. That's um I have to consider. Endless Abyss. Let me see where I'm at on Endless Abyss. On solo mode, I'm 15. On team mode, I'm 27. That will change once I get my team situated. I, I want to climb in the top 20. I think I deserve to be there. I'm not saying that other people are bad. This is my post personal goals and ambitions. Arena, um, 95 which is not really good. I'll climb, but I just keep burning out of these uh, these arena tickets since I play so much uh, Sky Battleground. I play so much Sky Battleground now that I burn out of tickets because it's like three tickets. And of course, uh, we're going to put her there. Yeah, that's fair. I need a healer. So yeah, that's fair. But I think taking and putting her there is better. But there's three tanks and no healer. 
But these fights typically get, typically go fast. So I think full DPS is okay. I think that's full is okay. I'm 25 here. Well, my lineup has to change. Uh, let's change that. I'm 31 here. Uh, I lost to Visse. That's cool. Pretty strong player. I'm 31 on here. Oh, excuse me. Overall rankings, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, memory Corridor. I have to go ahead and uh, take care of this. But, like, when I get here, uh, that's like 170.10. Um, what is that? That's a million power? Bro, we're at a million already? Yeah, we're at a million already. Yeah, the power just jumps here. That's fine. That's fine. That's where I am on uh in the wilderness. I do pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see where I am in the Sanctuary Expedition. Sanctuary Expedition. I cleared all challenges here. Like like I have videos of the challenge maps. Because I have Morian, I actually was able to pull Morian. And I Honestly, want more of Morgan because she's so strong. They give her a lot of uh, powerful aspects, and if nobody uh, jumps in, I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. If nobody summons, I'm jumping in because she's so strong. She's really strong. So we might have that late rush. Might have a late rush. But you gotta hit a hundred, uh, eight hundred points to qualify to be ranked. So I'm thinking about seriously doing this because I already have one, and having her at three stars is like having her at not having someone else at nine stars. Oh wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What what is this? I only select Morian shards. Really, that's it. So so this is like twenty four percent. I don't like that. I just don't like the drop rate because I I just uh wow the drop rate sucks. I I don't like it. Uh, she's a really powerful character. And for a while, she's the only Chaos character. They just came out with another Chaos character. So that's something to consider. T Hollow Temple. This is like just the start of the season. So of course, I, I maxed out. I'm at 51. Because some people just woke up earlier and didn't. I didn't do mine. So whatever. We're all at 6, really. So that doesn't hurt me none. I'm waiting for this, this nine star heroic spirit. I think this is pure hot sauce, bro. You know, <laughs> people don't understand. Like, if, if you level up a lot of heroes, um, this is really important. After I get this, though, I'm really going to focus on getting these stones here. This crap, because this is going to really help me increase my power. But uh, this here is hot sauce. That nine star heroic spirit, forget about it. Of course, I got all the Morian shards here. And I actually want the six star heroic spirit. Uh, I think this is actually really good. But the experience stuff is really good too. It's underrated. Experience and, and gold is underrated. This is underrated. This is underrated. I mean, this is good too. But I think for like, that's like late game. Cosmo Talus isn't that big of a deal. This is. This is. It is. And I, I admit that that is. And this is actually a big deal too for a later game. But I think the Angel Sir is fine. Because you, if you're not spending money, the Angel Sir is fine. But uh, that's what I'm looking at. 
Excuse me. Getting that is pure hot sauce. That nine star is pure hot sauce because when you get to content like uh, Ancient Sanctuary, like you need like teams of five. And if you don't have like teams of five, you're kind of cucked. You're really cucked. So I think this is um this is super important. And I need I need to level up my healer, but it's hard to get good healers. And I put all my resources in the Lord of Time. And I don't regret it. I don't regret it. That's why it's so important for me to get that nine star requirement. Because I just don't want to burn out my um heroes since I use them to clear challenges and stuff. You need more heroes, but you actually want to develop your five. So that's the that's what that is. Um, going to elemental summon, I think elemental summon is super important. I think elemental summon is so important that you have to like buy diamonds all the time, and I've been doing that. I'm waiting to get a another copy of elementalist because uh, once I get elementalist, I want to start her up to I actually want to get her to max stars. Because after Elementalist, I hate to say it, I hate to be a copycat, but I would like to do Ed, 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 Dictator, well, what, Anubis. I would like to get Anubis. I would, I really would. But then again, I have Underworld Strider, and I have Malicious Puppet, and I have Sinister Dragon. So it'd be, it behooved me to level these guys up first. Because I can actually take them to three stars. Once I get one of these, I can take them up to three stars. So that's something to think about. But let's not put the cart before the horse. Um, Elementalist is like... it's not. She's not stronger overall, long term. She's strong and she'll remain strong. But Anubis gets so many friends and dark that make him strong. I think they're equal, but Anubis is faction, the dark faction just gets so many OP units. It's kind of not fair, so that's a thought for later. That's a thought for later. So let's look at my heroes and go look at the goddess and we'll call it quits. My strongest hero by far is uh, Dragon Princess. Um, I put the most resources into her. I even have been playing around with this. That's why I, I think this is really important because this is this is increasing your power really high. Yeah, because yeah, this is kind of underrated. We don't talk about it much. I'll talk about it in another video, but that's really powerful stuff there. Lord of Time is actually my second strongest. You know, and she kind of has to be because she's my healer. She kind of has to be my second strongest unit, if not third. Um, what I'm missing is a tank, but for now, Celestial Spear is fine. She's not a tank, but she's a great DPS. Not as strong as people think when it comes to DPS. It's like she's just doing more than just DPS. Uh, in fact. My Dragon Princess right now hit harder than her because she's like 25 levels ahead. Um, yours hits... Hits really hard. She's not the best win hero. Uh, that belongs to Lord of Time. But she is my fourth uh, 10 star. And she's able... And she's been allowing me to climb high in the damage checks. Like, and... Uh, the trials and stuff because her single target damage output is extremely high. So she's only hitting one unit. She's hitting way harder than other units. And she's been pushing my DPS level to new heights. And I appreciate that. There's other stronger heroes, but I, I kept getting getting uh kept getting her, so that's why I leveled her up. I'm not the biggest well, nor am I really am a well, so that's why I picked her. Iron Fist 
uh, I'm seeking to replace um, soon, um, very soon, probably in the next week. Probably next week, I'll she'll be gone. She has served me well, though. I think she's a good budget tank for what for how much I've used her. I've got my money's worth out of her since I didn't really spend much money in the first place. I never spent money on Iron Fist to get people shards of her or nothing, so it's been worth it. This dude is here for one reason. He was just cheap to build, and I need, like, dark soldiers in order to clear, like, um, the dark tower. And since, and since he was so easy to build, I built him. I mean, I have so many shards of him. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy, so that's why I built him. So if I actually kill a Revenant Knight in order to 10-star uh, somebody, I can just have another one ready. Shield of Partha is who I'm replacing um, my uh, replacing my um, my she's going to be my new tank. I, I forgot her name. Aurora. That's who I'm replacing Aurora with. Because I think pound for pound <gasps> excuse me, she's one of the best tanks in the game. Under like Dragon Master, but over time she does replace Dragon Master. And I'll go into a video of why that is. Um, she's not that much above Dragon Master. It's just that her CC becomes so much more important as the game progresses. Her ability to freeze and freeze opponents and to increase her CC becomes so important because if you don't stop this deep, these DPSs from attacking you, they just wipe you off the face of the earth. When you give her counter attack and the fact that she has freeze on her weapon it allows her to turn the tables really easily. Once you freeze an opponent, they can't act for a turn, and that is so powerful. So that's why I'm investing into Shield of Partha, because out of the elements, basic elements, she becomes the best tank. So there's no reason for me to waste time on that. And the game is providing me an opportunity to get her, so I uh, look for her to be at a uh, at um, 10 stars. She's just like um, Revenant Knight, Nora. Because it, so, it was just so easy to build her. So I built her so I can clear like light trials. Um, she's okay. When you look at the light and dark uh, units, they actually perform a little higher than their counterparts. Like she's low tier, but if you compared her to like Regular element, she's mid tier. So that's always good. And that's why I built her. <sighs> oh, sorry. This chick is a monster. And that's why I'm building her. That's why I stopped uh, putting resources into Nora as far as feeding her uh, characters. Uh, Grail is probably one of the strongest light characters in the game. Her ability to stun is amazing. When you combine her with people like uh, Shield of Partha, with her with her buddy Valkyrie, she took Zoe Cook to like new levels. If you see the Zoe Cook battles, you'll understand why Elementalist Grail is so powerful. When you pair her with people like Valkyrie, Shield of Partha. With the uh, Revenant Knight, they pretty much are able to control the flow of battle. They stun, they wipe out units, and units need to fight together in order to win. And if they don't combine their DPS, your damage output becomes significantly, significantly lower. So this is why Grill is so good. And that's why I'm building her. So it'll probably be my first light hero to 10 star and it'll be worth it long term it's so worth it to have her at, at uh 10 star so worth it this is like the dark horse i actually managed to get morian and i don't regret it because morian is so powerful even as like a a, a just a, a five star she's like as strong as a two star a seven star unit her power is just outrageous if you have an opportunity to build her I think you should but that's only if you're willing to put in the resources 
And of course I have these characters that I really don't mess with. But last but not least, let's talk about Goddess Altar. Uh, let me go here real quick. Starlight Temples. Uh, I'm 251. Good basic level. I'm missing a character here. So I'm thinking about putting putting some of these of Water or Fire. I haven't picked yet. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Because I don't have any, any unit start up. Yeah, so I have no unit start up. So I, I haven't. I haven't decided yet, and I'm not going to. And of course, this is good. I just need to start building these. Yeah, because I got these maxed out. But these these cost like five thousand, so they're more expensive. So yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, these are ranked. That's what the colors mean. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's one not least is goddess goddess altar. My goddess is eighty three. It's just because like gold is so like <laughs> there is gold. Gold is like so hard to come by. I think gold is another underrated resource because this shit eats gold like there's no tomorrow. She's a vacuum cleaner, and in order to get like this stuff, she's got to have a high level so. I gotta take her to level 100 so I can get all of them. And because because uh, her level increases your stats, it's kind of important. Increases HP. That's pretty good. HP and defense, that's really good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, she's, she's pretty good. Um, this is why I really need to work on this. That's why I say I have to put some resources into this. Uh, to take her, uh, up to the next star level. So, that's coming. And the vine, so I have a bunch of, uh, diamonds I need to screw around with. It's so, it's so random. I, I hate the fact that it's so random. It, it kind of sucks, but oh well. I have no gifts to give, but uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, if you like my content, the like, share, subscribe button. I'll hit you back later. Okay. Laters.